Yo, what's up, Lewis? So today's question is, interested in networking, how does it work? So networking is pretty simple. Um, it could be as much as you follow me on Instagram, I follow you back, or you add me on Facebook, and I add you back. So the purpose of networking is pretty much expanding your field of people that you know. So let's say I want to get into Magic the Gathering cards. Me, I would try to find distributors with the best prices. I would try to find people who know Magic the Gathering. I want to find experts in that field, and I would hope that they could guide me into shortcuts into the game, you know. Um, so here's another analogy for that. Um, let's say you want to get Yu-Gi-Oh cards at a discounted price. You know, there might pe there might be people who could do that for you. You just need to find those people and you need to uh get to know these people, you know, um even networking with me, now you have the opportunity to ask me questions. You have the opportunity to have access to my knowledge like if we'd never networked before, you wouldn't have access to me. You wouldn't be able to ask me questions. And what I can offer as far as value is, like, let's say I were to make an investment. Let's say Dirt Magician Girl goes for, I'm not sure about the numbers right now. I'm not going to look it up. But let's say hypothetically it goes for 300 I would ask my five closest Yu-Gi-Oh investors that I know. Like, I would ask the top investors that I know, Yu-Gi-Oh investors. I'm like, yo, guys. Planning on investing in a dark magician girl, ghost rare. Do you think it's a good or bad idea? What kind of price points do you think I should be entering on it? You know, and uh, by having access to these knowledgeable people, it will help me make a better decision. Like, regardless, do your own research on all your investments, but it's always good to have a second opinion, third opinion, and fourth opinion, ex especially if these people are experienced. You know what I'm saying? So... You know, uh, don't ever hesitate to ask me questions. You know, if you plan on doing a big purchase or a big deal or, you know, any question, feel free to ask me and I'll definitely try to help you out to the best of my advantage. So, um, like I said, you expanded my network by knowing you and uh, I expanded my network by you knowing, like, uh, by you knowing me. You know what I'm saying? You, you can ask me questions now. And, um... I could answer your questions and make a video out of it. So honestly, we both benefited from the networking. So yeah, we could even make videos together. Like if you want to ask me a couple of questions on live stream and I just answer them to the best of my capability, that's fine too. So um, I appreciate your question. And uh, yeah, just feel free to hit me up whenever you like, man. Uh, I want to provide as much value as possible to the community. And uh, my expertise would probably be, um, like, you know, uh, deciding entries on certain cards. Um you know, long-term holds. So here's an example of networking and action. So I do a lot of business-to-business -business sales. I recently found a good distributor for Pokemon cards. So I'm getting really good price points. And by getting these really good price points, I could offer Pokemon cards to other businesses at really good prices. So I'm having stores that are bigger than me buy cards buy sealed pokemon cards for me and they're selling them at their store but by doing that so this guy he had a big store he came by he bought a ton of pokemon cards. he spent like 1300 dollars, and then he gave me his business card i was like oh you sell pops i was like you know maybe we could do a trade or maybe i could stop by and, and you give me a discount on these pops like you know like I, I give you a discount maybe you could give me a discount it's not always like that not everything is transactional but since i was uh I was a good business panel, a good businessman on my part. He, he really respected me for that. And I'm sure that he's going to give me good prices on pops. So by offering good prices and being a good businessman to other businesses, I expanded my network to a new store. And this store is going to help me get pops at a reduced rate. So networking is good. Networking is really good. Like me personally, I want to get to know more magic the gathering distributors. I want to know more Pokemon distributors. I want to know more Yu-Gi-Oh distributors. I want to network with distributors so that I could get very low price points and bring those cards to my city. And then I want to supply my city with these low prices. So like, that's personally what I want to do. 
like I said, feel free to hit me up, man. You just increase my network and I just increase your network. Yeah, I'm going to add you on Facebook and I really appreciate the question.